What you hear is support for Maya Little. In case you've forgotten, she's the woman who smeared blood, her blood, and paint on the statue of Silent Sam in the spring. Today, she's learning whether or not she will be expelled from UNC because of her actions. CBS 17's Derek Lewis joins us live from the hearing. Derek. Marius and Angela, that hearing for Maya Little is still happening right now here behind me inside the student union. Maya Little, a UNC student, pleads not guilty to damaging and destroying Silent Sam, a Confederate statue once on the university's campus. Video shown during the hearing as evidence shows Little pouring red paint and her blood on the statue back in April. And during the hearing, the investigative counsel called the officer who arrested Little that afternoon as a witness for questioning. Recently, Little was found guilty of the charge in an orange. County District Court. However, she did not face any punishment. Now, today's hearing with UNC's Honor Court is specifically for students accused of violating the university's honor code. Little could be expelled from the university. Little's defense is focusing on Little changing the context of the Confederate statue on campus. The investigative counsel explains today that there is much sensitivity around the statue. They understand that, but wants the court to focus on Little's actions. This proceeding is not the appropriate forum to serve as a continuation of that debate. We are here today simply to determine whether there is a violation of the honor code as laid out in the instrument of student judicial governance. When you paint a wall in your home, you've not damaged the wall. It is completely intact as it was before the cone of paint was applied. The wall is not damaged, but changed. Ms. Little's paint did not damage the statue, but changed it. Contextualize it. Now, things will not go past 8 o'clock this evening. If they do wrap up today, then that would be it. Um, however, if things have to go, if they don't finish today, then they will resume at a later date. Live at UNC Chapel Hill, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS 17 News. Derek, thank you. And whether or not Silent Sam will return to McCorkle Place remains a mystery tonight. But we should know more three weeks from today. Shortly after the statue got toppled, the Board of Trustees began developing a plan to preserve the statue. On November 15th, they are expected to present their findings to the Board of Governors.